I'll be out here for a little bit. Right up there is the, uh, that little bench that we took the, uh, the pictures on, uh, a lot, like, we did it at least once or twice a year. Me, Courtney, and the kids, all four of them. Just a, just a thought. <clears throat> Anyways, last night she uh, allegedly went for a walk, needed some fresh air, gone for two hours. I woke up freaking the fuck out because, I don't know, she just disappeared, you know? I don't like that. I mean, I get, I get worried as fuck. <clears throat> and whatever was going on, whatever she, I mean, she might have been telling the truth for all I know. I don't have any fucking proof to the contrary, but just wasn't like her. Not something that's like her at all. So. Makes me think she's not being honest. Among other things, she said she was going two places last night, and I made it pretty clear I didn't really think she was just going to do that, which I was right. She didn't just do that, but she said it like, she's like, I'm just going to get toilet paper and the gas station, like she was only going to be a few minutes, like, yeah, I'm not stupid. It's going to take longer. I mean, that's that's just... That's what's like her. She takes forever to do anything. So, which is cool, you know. But say that. Say you're gonna be a little bit. Don't fucking sugarcoat it. Like, oh, I'm not gonna. Or acting like you're not gonna be that long or whatever. It's fine. Just don't act like you're gonna be a few minutes and then you take forever and then I end up worrying about you and. I don't know. <clears throat> I think she always thought it was like a controlling thing. No, not really. I just worry. I'm a lot like my grandmother in that sense. I'm going to flip this around. So, you might have to turn your phone around too, I don't know. But this is an uncomfortable uh, position for me. Pause. This. This bench right here. I'm going to pause it here in a second because there's some people coming and I don't want them to think I'm recording them. You know what I mean? I am a lot of smoke though. I'm actually telling the truth though. You know. Went for a walk, getting some fresh air. I did, and I am. Actually feels quite peaceful out here. Got a lot on my mind too. come here and just memories we like made it a point to come to the trails every spring every summer take pictures with all the kids and go to the scenic overlook and there they come I gotta pause it they went to the scenic overlook so they'll probably be back through I'll have to pause it again Seven forty nine. Hell, I don't even know if I haven't any 
the space really on my phone. Our battery. I don't know what to do anymore, guys. I really don't. I'm just... I'm at, at a point now where it's like... What I want to do isn't going to work. And I know it's not going to work, so... I'm not even going to try. I'll tell you what, though... You know how hard it is to convince somebody that all the signs are there, all the all the signs are there that you still give a shit, you still care, you still love me, you still but I point it out, you avoid it. You know it's gonna be something that you can't really hide, so you're going to focus on the things that you're doing that pretty much show that you still have feelings for me and you're going to pull away from those things, you know. That hurts. It hurts a lot. To be honest with you, I'm, I've been hurting this whole time, you know. Ever since you moved back, I've been hurting. I fucking love her to death. nothing I can do to get her to want to make it work. She has to want to make it work on her own. And what really sucks is um, I, I'll get home from work and <clears throat> she'll say she don't have plans and then she leaves. Like she'll dip out and I'll know that she's going to be Forever, I'll know she's gonna take an hour or more to do something that takes about 20 30 minutes. She just leaves me with, the, I, mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you know me taking care of the kids because I'm their father, but you say you don't have plans and then you leave and you take so long to come back, and I'm sitting there at home worried about you and you're. You have no, or like you're void of all responsibility because you ain't there. So you, you leave all the responsibility of everything on me, even though I've told you I need sleep and, and I need to, I need time to myself too, you know. I can't go to work for 12 hours a day, come home and take care of the kids all night, losing that sleep that I'm trying to prioritize. Just because you want to leave and, and fulfill your little time to yourself, which is fine. But when you do it every single night that I come home from work, I understand you want to keep yourself busy, but what about me? When do I get time to myself? When do I get to be void of, of all that responsibility for a little bit, you know? Yeah. What about me? Like I said, I'm I'm not even like I feel like I'm not even on her list. I mean, she hasn't messaged me and asked where I'm at yet, so I guess that's a plus. But I basically had to force my way into giving myself some more time to myself because I don't have to work tomorrow, so. But. 754. I'm gonna sit out here for a little while. Might make another video. I'm not sure. Probably be too dark to make one, really. But that's what's on my mind right now. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening.